Thank you for joining me today for another session of Unity from Scratch. Today we'll look at another way to animate your character, this time by using a series of sprites and displaying them one after the other. So without further ado, let's begin. So as you can see, we're starting right from where we left off on our last tutorial. We have our minion and we can control it to move left and right with a nice animation of idle and walking. Next, let's get some new assets. We'll go into Google. And search for um, game art 2D. They have uh, nice free assets. We'll go here into freebies and we'll pick one of the free sprites let's get our hero here click on free download and just save it and it finished download extract it and you'll get a list of uh, nice sprites uh, let's see them so we can see that we have uh, attack sprites and we have idle sprites. We have running and walking, great. So that we, we, what we want is the idle sprites and we want the walking sprites. The other ones, they're not that interesting at this stage. So take the... Um, So select the idle sprites and just drag them into your animation texture folder and do the same for the walking sprites. Great. Next, um, we'll pick one for our character. And we'll take this idle one and add it to here. Now it's huge. So let's first change its name to hero. And now let's first move it a little bit. And make it much smaller. Great. Now for the animation. What we're going to do is just simply select all the idle animations and drag them to our hero game object. Unity will try to create an animation automatically from the set of sprites. Let's go to our animation folder and call it hero idle. Next, let's do the same thing or a walking animation. And again, we'll call it hero walking. Great. Now, if we go to our animation tab, we see that we have a hero idle and a hero walking. If we scrub this, we can see our hero that is idling. And if we select hero walking, you can see it walking. Now this was a much simpler method of creating animation than what we did in our last tutorial because now the animator did all the hard work for us and we just put all the animation uh, images in order. Uh, so now if you remember we'll go to our animator. We'll create um, uh, boolean just like in our last clip we we'll call it walking and we'll make a transition from idle to walking and from walking to idle and we'll remove exit time because we want to make the transition immediate and when is walking when walking is true we'll go into walking and again we'll remove the exit time and when walking is false we'll transition back to idle um, 
we can test it. Okay. Okay, see, now we are idling. And now we are walking. Idling, walking. Great. So, next thing that we need is to create a control script. But we already have a script of the minion. It might not exactly fit us, so we might need to change it a little bit. But we can use it for both the minion and our character. So let's attach the minion controller script to our character and see what happens. Hit play. And the first thing that we can see is that while it's walking, our hero is totally distorted. Now, why is that? The reason that it's distorted is because when we first dragged our character into our scene, it was big, so we scaled it down. So let's see what happens in the script. In the script, what we do is when we see that um, we need to change direction, we actually it change it by um, by making the scale of x uh, minus one or one but this also changes the size of the character so the first thing that we need to do is not just change it to the direction but change it to the direction times the local scale that we had so this should fix our problem yeah but as you can see now we have a new problem so let's fix that as well the first thing that I want to fix is the name of the class it's not a minion anymore it's a character so let's change it into character controller Next, we want to remember our direction. So when the player changes direction, we want to know if we need to flip the character or we can just keep, keep the character facing the same direction. So let's make it public float um, last direction. direction yeah uh, next we'll create um, a function that will flip the character so it will be clear what happens and when so let's make public no it's a private void flip and what we'll do in this function is very similar to what we already did here we don't need that anymore uh, but we'll just flip it. This means that we'll uh, multiply the current scale by minus one. This means that the negative value, value becomes positive and a positive value will become negative and actually flip the character from left to right and from right to left. Next, we need to flip our last direction, which means that we're going to do the same here. Good, so we're ready to flip. Now, when are we going to flip? Um, first, if the input is zero, which means the player is not pushing not left and not right, we don't need to do anything. So if input is zero, all we need to do is return. We don't need to, to, to call flip. But if input is different than last direction, we want to call flip. Uh, we don't need that anymore. 
and the only thing left is to initialize the last direction because our minion is facing left at the beginning and our hero is facing right. So let's see if it works. So let's select our minion mm, because we changed the script. Let's add our character controller. Not that one. That one. And its direction is minus one. The hero, again, let's remove this one and our character controller, and it's one. Save it. Let's hit play and see what happens. And this is exactly what we wanted. Both of our characters are responding very well to our left and right. And when we stop moving left and right, they're just idling. We can also change the speed of each one. So let's say our hero will be faster than our minion. And as you can see, it's moving faster and can almost catch it or run away from it. That's it for today. And thank you very much for joining me for another session of Unity from Scratch. I hope you learned something valuable today and you'll use it in your next game. See you next time.